Hey, what's up? This video is about uh, Jews, what I think about Jews. Um, what I think about Jews. Well, Jews are very uh, different. They're like the only people who have their own tale to tell from the beginning of time. From when they were like, like tribe with just like goats, like a family of goats, of people with goats. And then, you know, like Jacob, you know, goes and goes and has to leave his family, you know, and their little village to the next village of like, you know, people who are related to him. And then, you know, they begot the people and they can trace their lineage all the way back to there, you know. All, and, then they, and then at one point they have their own country under Solomon and then they eventually get blasted into five different tribes and, and then they were taken captive with the Babylonians and then they, you know, escape. And they, I mean, they record their entire history, these people. Although, and then they can, you know, and then, and then the, now they're all over the world and they still have their own country. <laughs> and there's still people around them who want to, like, destroy their country. It's just a crazy story. Um, no other, no other society has that. Um, I mean, um, you have the Mahabharata, which is way bigger than the, the Bible. Um, only difference is, um, the, uh, Mahabharata, it's like the Hindus, and you can't really, um, uh, trace them back to like one person, one group of people. You know, like, it's like, it's not like, it's different. And you, you, you can't trace it back to, like, a family with their goats. Like, the Mahabharata, you, it's, like, traced back to way beyond before that. The Mahabharata is traced back to frickin' the days of Atlantis, literally. The days of the one world culture. You know how the, the, uh, this is a whole nother video on what I think about the Mahabharata, which I'll do later, but... That's like, uh, you know, before the Tower of Babel, you know, and the spaceships flying around, and seriously, Mahabharata's got all sorts of shit like that, and I'll, I'll do, I'll, I'll refer, anyways, so the Jews is different, but the Jews, and they call themselves like God's chosen people, and I do, I think they are God's chosen people as, in, as far as, I mean, it's kind of like go down the rabbit hole, how far down the freaking rabbit hole you can go. Like, that's what this world's all about, man. This world is crazier than fiction. I mean, you look at, think about, like, Star Wars and how wacky that world is. Oh, wouldn't that be wacky to live in Star Wars? No, no, this shit is, makes, is way crazier than that. I mean, God's chosen people as in little G God. God's chosen people. I think aliens came here and were like, let's... Choose a tribe of people and let's use them to see if they can bring civilization to the whole world. Um, now, the reason I think that is because, you know, Moses was led by 40 years with the people um, by a freaking spaceship that was flying over their head the whole time, uh, dropping like freaking mushrooms out of the sky for them to eat so they wouldn't starve to death. Um, the whole time, I mean, gave them a language. I'm like, where did the Hebrew language come from? I haven't Wikipedia it. I probably should, but I did watch a video like 10 years ago about languages, the Hebrew language. There's lots of like, um, man, I can't remember it, but there's lots of stuff about the Hebrew language, the letters in the alphabet that is like indicative of knowledge that you cannot have from that from a primitive time when they put that together it's clear that somebody gave that language to them um and i think maybe even you know greek languages and all those other languages uh learned from them i don't i'm not really sure i'm kind of talking out of my ass here but but it, it is interesting um language um and then of course they have the ark of the covenant which is like their little uh weapon that they used and that they carried around that they aliens gave them um and but the one interesting thing you know i made a comment before about how uh you know god's chosen people the people who the aliens choose to try to 
bring civilization to everybody else. You know, one reason racists would say, you know, white people brought civilization to America, to the world, you know, and it wasn't blacks because whites are smarter and all this stuff. But I think whites did because they just, you know, that particular culture just was the one, the ones that had the help from the aliens to have the civilization and everything. Um, but as far as like that, you know, I think monotheism is important to have as a uh, society. I think that has a great deal to do with, and that's a whole other freaking conversation that I don't have time to do in this video, but, um, I mean, it's to have one God, you know. Now, I know the, the, the Jews were like, oh, our one God was our God. Even a direct translation would be like our God. But um, it's, uh, I think the original, you know, what the aliens told the prophet is, uh, is, 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 is one God, like for everybody. It's one God, one God, one God, you know, God is the whole, and what God is, like, you know, the whole universe alive. Don't uh, sacrifice. You don't have to sacrifice goats. You don't have to um, pray to this imaginary figurine. You know, try not to um, pray to your alien. I don't know. That's just that's just my kind of idea. Um, and then of course Jesus cemented that one. But uh, and and he was a Jew. It's kind of like they're the people who the who are just led led. Um, now, Jews of today, that's just what I think about the whole crazy lineage of Jews. Jews of today, what do I think about Jews of today? Well, I know there's lots of stuff about Jews that's, like, advanced, more advanced than other people. Like, they were the first person who would, like, lend money, which is, I think, a really important practice, a good thing to get a economy kick-started, to get a, let a, um, uh, civilization thrive um is to lend money to people so they can get businesses started up and stuff you know and so like they were the first ones doing that and that was pretty cool and now they're, and they're really good with money somehow so but another interesting thing about jews is that they have all those like rites and rituals and stuff that go back like way long time like legacy you know, it's pretty cool and um, I don't know much about the Kabbalah, but I, I think they have a whole lot of interesting um, uh, religious, uh, cool religious, like, knowledge and stuff. A lot of which, you know, got hidden because people thought it, they had to, like, be secretive and stuff. But, um, but anyways, uh, that's what I think about the Jews. Israelis are really cool. I, I get along with Jews. I like Jews. I get along with great with. I've always gotten along with Jews and Israelis. I can talk to them. They're smart. They're good conversationalists. Uh, I guess since I have some time left, I can talk about Israelis. Israelis are good about you know not about speaking English and not just speaking it, it, you know, Hebrew with each other around you. You know, like Germans aren't so even though they speak perfect English, aren't so good about doing that. Uh, at least in my experience, you know. Um. I'd like to go there sometime. I just, uh, it'd be cool if they would just share their money with the Palestinians some more, but I guess they're just worried that they're going to be taken over, but I don't think they'd have to be worried, at least, at least now, especially, you know. I guess maybe wait a few years and then help give the Palestinians money. But, uh, anyways, that's just crazy. I think uh, all the visions, I mean all the visions that the ancient Jewish prophets and stuff had, it's like God told me, you know, and then like these guys came out of the sky, you know, and then one of the prophets just disappeared. The aliens took him. Um, and then, of course, Ezekiel, everybody knows about Ezekiel, describing flying saucers coming down, you know, and, and then God spoke. You know, that whole, like, image of, like, the, the the cloud with the with the light beam shining through you know and like that's being a representation of God you know I mean imagine a big like spaceship up above the cloud shooting its freaking tractor beam down on the people oh look it's God gonna come down and tell us something I should I have to attend to something so I'm out of time that's what I think about Jews I figured I'd do the video just because I'm doing what I think about religions and stuff I haven't uh, this is like you know not 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 studied at all. 
I did study all the religions, by the way, but all of my, and I collected it all, but um, on all these paper, pa I'd have each religion for each page on my website, like with all the rites and rituals and history and everything. It was great. It took me like a whole month of solid work to do it, and it just disappeared off my server, off my computer, just went away, so it kind of sucks. It's weird. So anyways.